Welcome to the Science Fiction Think About It podcast. My name is Colin Moran, and today I'm joined by my two lovely friends and teammates, Tyler Braun and Max Ponder Freeman. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. As well, we have a special guest joining us later. Let's dive right in. Today, our topic in question is how can science fiction influence the way the world changes? Well, I think science fiction really has the ability to create alternative realities and futures that can challenge our current social norms and beliefs. You know, it can offer a new perspective on issues that we face in our society, you know, like racism, sexism, issues with the environment, climate change. And by taking these issues, you know, putting them into a new context with the science fiction storyline, you know, it can change the way you think about it and change your perspective on it, and it can help you know, people better understand complex ideas and think more critically about uh, the world and how to create a better world. Tyler, any thoughts on our topic? Yes, um, I think science fiction has the power to inspire change in people's lives. For example, the, the Star Trek franchise has been known to inspire scientists and engineers to create technology that was once thought to be impossible. I think it also has influenced the way we think about race and gender in society with its diverse cast of characters and progressive storylines. Thank you, Tyler. That was great. Now, while we're on the topic of Star Trek, this is where I want to bring our two very special guests, Keaton Sandlin and Michael Blagator, both who are previous C216 students. Keaton, what are your thoughts on Star Trek's impact on society? Well, you see, Star Trek was so ahead of its time, all right? In the 60s, they were displaying episodes in Star Trek Discovery of same-sex marriages, while in Star Trek's Enterprise, they had polyamorous um, relationships with multiple wives, which is both opinionated of ideas, but is needed to spark change in a society, which is what Michael Blackator can speak on more about. In the uh, original Star Trek, you're coming out of World War II, where Japanese people were put into internment camps by the US government, and they had a Japanese guy on there, which was very big. They also had a uh, African-American woman kiss a white guy on there, which was huge at the time for the civil rights movement, which really gave America the idea that we could work together instead of going apart. Now, keeping that on there, they also had a Russian on there during the Cold War in this time where these global powers were fighting behind the scenes, Star Trek was attempting to say, we don't have to fight, we can actually bring all the cultures together and work together for a better future. Thank you, Michael, that was great. Now, I know we all love Star Trek, but do you guys have any other examples of science fiction and novels or movies that you guys really would love to share and uh, talk about their impacts on society? Well, you know, one that I think, one science fiction work that I think has really, like, made visible change in the world is uh, The Handmaid's Tale, which basically the premise is that it's a dystopian society where women are, they're stripped of their rights and they're pretty much forced to have children for the, like, ruling elite class. And so that basically sparked, like, a major dialogue for, about, uh, you know, gender norms, gender roles, you know, female equality in modern society and it became like a, a major rallying point for, for the modern feminist movement and just like opened up a lot of uh, thinking and speech about, uh, you know, feminism. It's true. Tyler, any ideas? Yes. Um, a movie that I've watched recently is Her and this film basically explores the relationship between a man and his AI operating system female kind of girlfriend. Um, the story kind of raises questions about the nature of relationships and you know as technology is com becoming a bigger part of our lives um, it's starting to affect how we kind of communicate with other people and how we can communicate also like socially. Um, yeah and just to add on what Tyler was saying when I saw the movie uh, in theaters, I came out really like questioning about how, you know, the evolution of technology and AI, how like our relationships will look because those are something that you, like relationships are something you think will never change, but then the, the movie really makes you think about how like 
AI can really change the very basis of everything you know. And you know, seeing with like ChatGPT and stuff and how it's like really starting to like actually like take off, it just really, really makes you think. Yeah, it's concerning for sure. For sure. And I know that's kind of uh, on a bad note there, but you know, I want to line things up. One of the reasons that me personally, I fell in love with science fiction is how uh, imaginative its movies are and it, it kind of uh, inspires imagination in the audience. Um, science fiction storylines are so limitless, I think that it can really f almost foster a sense of uh, wonder and inspiration. Um, as well, I think that it can challenge the way that the audience views the world as we've seen in our previous examples. And with that, we are going to wrap up today's episode. I want to thank my wonderful guests um, for making today great. And I want to wish you all a very good night. Thank you.